So uh, Haltian is, is a fast growing company, uh, smart building and IoT and digitization company from, from Northern Finland. Yeah, so actually two days ago we got the first no, but luckily it's, it's gone now. So Haltian has two, two business lines. So we have product development services. We develop different kind of uh, smart products, wireless products and so. Um, so for example, we have be part of this uh, Aura, Aura Ring, Smart Ring. So that's one uh, part of our business. So we develop different kind of wireless products. But then other part of business is, is uh, IoT solutions. And there we have uh, things, the IoT solutions. So we, uh, we have empathic building, smart building uh, uh, solution. So um, empathy building includes, for example, a smart office uh, solution, which is actually really uh, growing fast at the moment because that really relates to safe return to the office solutions. So, um, but today we focus more on, on uh, our uh, things is sensor data collection solutions and, and uh, uh, together with policies. So um, yeah, we have already, uh, 140,000 uh, devices globally in this system. So uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully Robert can uh, can join uh, soon. Here's Robert. No, I'm not out. I'm sorry. Oh, Robert is trying to get in. Ah, there he is. Oh, hello. He's faster than uh, than I think he is. Good afternoon, Robert. Hi. hi. Good, good to have you here. So I just introduced Haltian and myself. Uh, yeah, so I, I met uh, Robert first time, was it like four years ago? Yeah, about four years ago, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, Paul is uh, vice president of uh, um, emerging technologies and innovation at, at uh, Prologis and really one one of those key persons to setting, setting um, future direction of uh, Prologis. So uh, many of you may know uh, Prolotis has a huge asset of uh, around uh, 4,500 warehouse buildings around the globe. So uh, more than 3,000 in, in, in US. Okay, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Robert, to, to be here. Uh, okay, so today, as, as we all know, there's a, there's a hype around IoT. So today we have some concrete that, let's say, tips to you and what we have seen. So uh, like the first, uh, first um, point I would like to raise is to start, start small and uh, start, uh, start now. So on that way, you learn, you learn what sort of solution you can, you can do and how you can benefit from those. Uh, so um, and because everything will be connected, so uh, so what earlier you you go to that play, that better competitive advance you you get. So um, so Robert, you have you have done several different studies, pilots, and and so on. So um, how you would like to emphasize these these uh, points? Yeah, Petty. So, so the first reason to actually apply IoT is because you want to extract data and do something with that data. That's the, the main reason why you should actually put sensors in the building. Uh, we started uh, quite big, actually, when we had um, chosen the platform and did all the preparations. We started quite big and we thought, OK, let's implement a whole smart warehouse. So put as much sensors as possible in the warehouse and uh, extract as much data as possible. Um, we already soon figured out that um, it is a way to go. It was very successful, but if you want to sell it internally, if you want to move forward internally, it's better to have smaller use cases and to actually go after the operational use cases first and um, take a few of, the, of those. And the total of all these smaller operational use cases will be actually a smart building. So we started to deploy a pump room kit. We started to deploy uh, what we call a column kit. Uh, so they're all kits of, of, of a set of sensors. And uh, slowly we moved that into uh, you know, our smart building proposition. Yeah, 
And I think you cannot make like a direct step from uh, from pilot to the to the commercial level. Uh, but uh, but you really need to focus on on like uh, selling this solution uh, internally, but of course also for your customers. But I think the one of the hardest point is to, to sell the solution to your uh, to your company within the, your company. So, no, hundred uh, percent. Uh, you're you're totally right. So uh, a lot of let me say a lot of leaders in organizations still do not understand the value of data. They they do say that they do understand it, but yeah, you have to spend quite some money in order to start uh, <laughs> extracting this, these data points. So you have to have to have visionaries in the organization in order to start extracting data in order to prove the value of data. So um, it's very important to have a few business stakeholders that believe in what you do um, so that they give you the opportunity to actually start um, utilizing that data or extracting that data. Because I can do everything in my lab, Bertie. And that's, that's totally fine. It's totally protected. I can break and make everything. It, but if, if I do it for real people, then it's different. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's, that's one of my favorite ones because I see actually that a lot in my role. That um, okay, so um, it's easier to make a first pilot, and it's easier to make very successful pilot. But um, but um, in many cases, that's it, and it it doesn't take um, take uh, take long because uh, because you you don't have the business value, you don't have uh, uh, supporting people within your organization. Uh, yeah, so then, then one of like uh, a key point is also that, that you shouldn't focus too much on, on technology. Uh, but uh, you need that at some level and you need to learn a little bit about the technology. So um, um, what, what about that? What, what, what are your views on that? Yeah, so it's it's like building a house, right? You have to have a good foundation. So that, that's the same with uh, with data extraction. You have to make sure that your foundation is there, um, making sure that there is a place where you are, where your data can land. Um, I personally do not rely totally on on vendors and on the on the on the products. You know the total uh, vertical products that uh, that vendors um, um, can give me because of the fact that uh, my data is quite hidden uh, in 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 silos. And I have to build some kind of a, you know APIs or whatsoever to extract that data and to combine those different data points. So I think it's it's a matter of making sure that your foundation is um, is okay, uh, and then you have to have to start building on top on top of that. Make it very simple, actually, Patty. Yeah, yeah, and and then synchronize all those new solutions with your current system. But also uh, uh, your future systems. Uh, yeah, and so and so make the and to go back to your question on the technical part. So make sure that you have the technical part covered, but make sure that your that a dedicated team is uh, is is taking care of that part, and that the people that are actually more only concerned about data and extracting value out of that data can work with you know consumable information. So. Yeah, so I agree with you. <clears throat> Move away from the technical part and make sure that you make it so consumable so that everybody can uh, can start drawing conclusions. Yeah. So uh, let's let's uh, let's have a look on on some really concrete step. What what you have done? So uh, so uh, could, could you tell about a little bit about your your deployment you are you are doing at the moment? Yeah, so so in total, we uh, we have deployed uh, in about 200,000 square meters of smart building now, so of smart solutions in buildings. And upcoming is um, we're going to deploy uh, what we call as a pump room kit, so a kit of five to eight sensors um, in in every pump room that we have in all of our warehouses in the U.S. So that means uh, I believe it's like in 3,300 buildings, we're going to deploy uh, a standard set of sensors. Um, and that is actually caused, it, it, it's a very simple use case. We put sensors on pumps, uh, we put present sensors at the entry, so we know who's coming in. When a pump is start to pump, um, uh, which is not, uh, yeah, 
in an irregular way, we know that there's leakage somewhere in the building. So we can actually determine by deploying a very simple, like 40 uh, euro um, sensor on a pump, we can actually detect leakage in a very early stage, which saves us a lot of money in the end. Yeah, great, great. So so how do you see, what's like your um, your vision in real estate and, and warehousing? What yeah, so I was listening in to uh, some previous uh, uh, speakers and uh, they were talking about autonomous building. And um, yeah, that's uh, we're kind of halfway there. So um, for us, um, there are multiple steps and we're now at the step two that we can extract valuable information, valuable data points, and we can do something uh, with that data. And our next step is to create a building management system that is uh, that is smart enough that will work according to the way we want to work that will make autonomous decisions in the buildings and they'll start it start with very simple autonomous decisions like uh, the dock door is open so we should not turn the heater on um, but yeah along the way we will make it smarter and smarter and more autonomous yeah but i i really do like your statement also that uh, at the first point your your uh, reason is not to replace the people, but help people to make a clever decision based on the data they have. 100%, Petty. So there is this operational use case and there is this strategic use case. So we're, I was just talking about the operational use cases. So our customers can learn a lot from when their dock doors are open and closed. Very simple one. But a combination of all the sets that we're extracting uh, with the sensors can actually determine um, now let's say an activity metric uh, so we can actually learn about regions about uh, we can help our customers learn about the utilization of their warehouse so we can learn a lot by combining all these data points and make better help make our people help uh, to make better decisions so it's not about replacing people it's about giving them more uh, feed uh, to make better decisions Great, great. Yeah. So I think we are we are we are soon running out of time. So how how you could uh, summarize uh, like your statements, your your points? So yeah, I, w I was thinking about that. So uh, it's if if you have worked with IoT a little bit longer, then it's uh, then it's it's quite simple how you should start to deploy it. And uh, that's one thing that you already said. You know, you have to start simple. Start with simple use cases. Uh, you, but you have to have this bigger picture. So know how your architecture, your IT architecture is is like, and um, uh, know how you want to get the de data inflow um, into your own organization. And then the third is you also have to know what would you like to do with the data. Uh, if if you don't know what you'd like to do with the data, there's no need to apply any sensor in any building, in my opinion. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's also my favorite one. So, please focus on uh, business value. So, what what value you get from the data? So, uh, you have very good partner for for technology uh, from technology point of view, but you know your business best. So, what sort of data is is important for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're totally right. And yeah, so I, I could add also the toes uh, the toes that um, start your your journey now. Because what, what earlier you start, that, that more you'll learn. So you are you are then more ready for your your solutions. And and also when you make a scale, you really need to have proper plans, proper resources and, and, and so. Yeah. You're right. So I think I think we have done. So thank you very much, Robert. It was it was really nice. You're welcome, Betty. Thank you very much, guys. What is the most important lesson you uh, want to teach to different kind of people within real estate that start uh, with innovation um, and start working together? Uh, the most important lesson for me is uh, stop talking and start doing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I fully agree. So, uh, and and also as I as I said many times, please focus on on uh, business value. Because um, technology and uh, good pilots, that's that's not that's like an easy one. Yeah. No, I totally agree. You know, technology exists, so that's fine. It also it only has to fit in your environment, but it's uh, it's a matter of what you do with the data. 